Do you mentioned was it competition between companies or between countries, as it were? Now, obviously, all competition is with enterprises and between enterprises. But I think the country element is much more important now than even back in the 1992 era. That in a sense, from an economic perspective, I think this crisis has made us all more economically nationalistic. Because I don't detect, as it were, throughout Europe, certainly not in Ireland in terms of the public perception, that there is a view that we're all in this together as a European entity, as it were that we see it very much as that there are different countries with different agendas and there simply isn't a European solution. Because even when we talk about the single market, we have had this crisis, and it's amazing when you think about it, we've had this crisis since the beginning of 2008 or the end of 2007. We're now well into 2012 and there isn't the sight of a European-wide solution. It is impossible to see a solution with the European Central Bank continuing to do what it's doing. It's impossible to see a European solution with individual governments managing their public finances the way they are doing it. But I think, and I'd be interested to get the reaction, particularly of John, that we're actually further away from a European solution than we would have been some years ago. Well, instrumentally, we're much nearer yes. because we've put in place yeah. a whole lot of instruments like the European Banking Authority, the European Systemic Risk Board, which I think yeah. is about 40 or 50 members. I'm sure they're going to be very dynamic with that number of members on the board, uh, but at least they're there, they weren't there before. Uh, I think what's, what's actually happening is that there are genuine conflicts of interest in Europe, and they're being presented as conflict of interest between countries, like Germany on one side, Greece on the other, when in fact they are conflicts of interest between savers and borrowers, between debtors and taxpayers. Germany, if you like, represents the savers and the taxpaying interest who don't want to take on too much responsibility for people who are in difficulty. And some other countries represent the borrowers who essentially want a bit of inflation that will reduce the scale of their debts in real terms. And this, this genuine conflict is being misrepresented as a conflict between countries when in fact it's not. And I think if the issue could be explained in those terms, in fact, Germany is fighting for the interests of Greek savers. It's fighting for the interests of Irish savers. Whereas other countries are fighting for the interests of borrowers and debtors. And you know, there has to be an accommodation between them. But that's how it should be presented, rather than in nationalistic terms, which don't represent reality.